Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate. Good morning, I'm Victoria Carmen with your flash briefing. A state of emergency declared in North Carolina as the state prepares to be impacted by Hurricane Isaias Monday. The state discussed shelter plans during a press conference yesterday. They're urging anyone who has to evacuate to stay with family or friends. The state is working on shelters for those who can't do that or even stay in a hotel. Uh, Governor Cooper says make sure you follow local evacuation orders, stay with family or friends if possible, and shelters will have COVID-19 screenings and will provide masks. Meanwhile, South Carolina State Superintendent Molly Spearman announced anyone inside of a school building will be required to wear a face mask this fall. Spearman says requiring masks will help ensure learning environments are safe. A face mask rule follows CDC guidelines, saying everybody inside the school must wear one except for children under two years old, anybody who has trouble breathing, or anyone who's unable to remove a face mask without assistance. Let's get a check at the forecast now with meteorologist Isaac Williams tracking our weekend forecast here in the upstate and of course the hurricane. All weekend, yeah, Tori, we'll be watching really more so the coast and what the tropics will be doing versus uh, our upstate weather this weekend. Actually pretty quiet, breezy and hot later today with highs reaching the middle 90s around 94. On Sunday, there is a small chance of a shower or two. Uh, in most cases, I do think we'll stay dry there with highs uh, backing off slightly into the lower 90s. Again, all eyes on East Isaias, a likely tropical storm, if not weak hurricane, potentially making landfall near the south and North Carolina state line Monday afternoon or Monday evening. If that track holds, we could see some significant coastal impacts for a few hours, but the upstate and western North Carolina and northeast Georgia, well, outside of a few passing showers, no major issues here. Our continuing coverage, you can catch the 10 o'clock news later tonight, but we'll keep you posted all the time online, on our social media pages, and through our Fox Carolina news app.